The upside down universe got you, but you have been an easy prey. They got you exactly where they wanted you to be, but you can find a way out. To find a way out, it is easier than ever, and this is why. Truth is always simple. God is always simple. Truth is God. It is so simple <laughs> that your mind has difficulty uh, believing it because it has been taught that everything needs to be complicated, that everything is complicated, where the whole <laughs> secrets of the universe can fit in one tiny notebook. That's how difficult and convoluted this universe is. Everything in your life, in your personal life, and everything that you see in the mainstream, all the hardship and all the mainstream things, the answer is always found on the exact opposite side. <laughs> it is that simple. It is 180 degrees from where the masses are standing. It is 180 degrees what is recommended to you. It is 180 degrees when it comes to your personal life, what you are living and what you need to experience. And while you're having this experience, it is right there, 180 degrees from where are you standing. It is that simple. Most people are like this trained elephant. They train the elephant when it's very little and they uh, tie it to a stick so he cannot, you know, uh, liberate himself. But then when this elephant is <laughs> uh, all grown up and huge, they tied him to that silly same stick and he stays there uh, being a good boy, good boy, even though he can easily remove that stick <laughs> and <laughs> all those people that tied him for that stick. That's exactly where most of the people still are. <laughs> you know, before it was hard because we didn't have the internet because you know, okay, there is still a lot of this, this information, but before, you know, they burned the libraries, they burned the witches, they burned the natural healers, right? So you couldn't get the information. But now, what is stopping you? That stick, that stick is stopping you. Because you always do what you always did, and they know that humans are creatures of habits. Never underestimate your habits and patterns. This is where you are, where you are because of your habits and patterns. But your patterns and habits, they can be uh, beneficial to you if you just take the time to untie yourself from that stick and, you know, to liberate yourself. Not be a good boy anymore. Why would you on earth, for example, experience anything but beautiful relationship? Why would you allow yourself after all the hardships of this world, <laughs> material world, where you need to find your way around, why would you allow yourself for, you know, that significant other that needs to be your true soulmate, your true twin flame, why would you allow to be anything less than 100%? Why would you allow that things where, where are you spending your life for eight hours, 12 hours, 14 hours people are working? Why would you allow it to be anything less but your mission, your purpose? Why wouldn't you invest in yourself and find what the things is? What that is, what is that for you? There are so many people that can help you with this, so many resources, and most of it is for free. So it's only you being tied to, tied to that little stick and your perception, right, that you can't move. Well, you can, <laughs> you are not a tree. Another great, beautiful, simple, <laughs> that it hurts, how they enslaved you, it is how 
in all the areas, and it's literally all the areas, how they uh, make you to look out. The answers are out. Look for the expert. Look for, you know, for approval. Where literally, and I mean it literally, all the answers are in you. All of them. Like, someone was saying to me, like, someone is managing my money. Like, 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 why will someone manage your money? Like, someone is managing your time. Are you on, working on someone else's schedule? Well, why is that? Why are you working on someone else's schedule? Why don't you do things that you love? Because of that stick. They make you weak. They make you confused, right? <laughs> you have 100 genders and people are, you know, discussing whether man, can, whether man needs to menstruate or not. It's just, you know, a lot of baloney, you know, and people participating are even more stupid uh, by sharing those kind of things, you know, uh, whether, you know, versus they actually uh, serving the humanity, but they are just repeating what, you know, a lot of baloney was served there, uh, you know, because they want to get some kind of uh, following or whatever. They think it's funny, <laughs> you know, I was listening to some woman, like everyone is looking at the screen and they're like, they're confused and now they're sharing this, how they're confused because one woman is saying that, oh, I'm a vegan for three years, but I eat eggs every morning and I eat uh, uh, chicken. Uh, it's only important that chicken uh, has been fed uh, organic, uh, vegan, vegan uh, stuff. And, you know, and those people are on the call and they are sharing this, sharing this call. And you know what I say? Those people that are sharing this, those people that are on that call and that people, those people that share that video, they are more stupid and, and more ignorant than that person that was saying this, you know, for whichever agenda, right? I don't even want to know what is the agenda, right? So look at simply all the ways. Where are you managed? Why do you allow yourself to be managed? Right? Because of the stick. All you need to liberate yourself is to get some balls, okay? Is to get some courage. Uh, I have this in my word of God. It came in one day. But it's all, uh, like, really, what is, what is the thing, you know, because you have to get to the faith, but you know, most of the people, they are so low down in the frequency. And uh, you know, to reach the faith, it's, uh, it's a little bit, you know, uh, tricky, <laughs> a lot of, it's really tricky because there is that gap in between that they are afraid, they are this and they are that, you know. So the bridge from, you know, to wherever you need to go, it's courage. You remember courage was back in the days, really celebrated, you know, the chickens and the cowards, they were something to be ashamed of if you, you know, you, you, you can know this from fairy tales or whatever, right? But now to be a chicken, right, to be a, a coward, it's widely accepted. Everyone is afraid of everything, like, you know, so to liberate yourself, to get some, you know, to get yourself off that stick, basically what you need is to get some balls. You know, to get some balls, to choose you, then to choose yourself a little bit more, then to choose yourself on every occasion, then, you know, to liberate yourself from this stick, from that stick, from that stick, and that's how, my friend, you become more and more powerful and more and more with yourself, with your God, and that's how more and more clarity you get, more and more guidance that you get. But if you never even have a, a original thought to liberate yourself from the stick, because have a look around. People are miserable, and you know why? Because now it's not an option anymore. It is not an option anymore whether you're going to liberate yourself or not, you know, whether you're going to do your mission or not. You are doing it or you're going out of here. You're going to see a lot of change, and this is why. Don't be, you are not that little elephant anymore. Know that it, everything was pointed against you, but you are now all grown up, and you have some balls. You do, I know you do. Step up, liberate yourself. Do the things that you have come here to do. You know what the thing is. It is embedded in your DNA. This is my seven stars. I love you.